Morning guys, I am on my way to meet Jennifer Neven for the book signing today and it's very early and I don't wake up this early, but for authors, I do. I'm very excited to meet her and to get to talk to her, but if you guys don't follow my Twitter or Instagram, I in fact have already met her. I ran into her at dinner of all places the other night. Yes, the other night before she went to Cebu and we were able to chat a bit and it was already so cool so it's kind of funky gonna be able to say hi to her again and be like nice seeing you again <laughs> and get my book signed because obviously I didn't have my book last Friday last Thursday I don't know when that was um, but I'm just gonna go grab my book now and then we're gonna be off and gonna get to meet all the different bloggers and friends and people and the author. I will see you guys later. Thank you. 
we're struggling, you know, with suicidal tendencies, and, and just to make sure that everything read as accurately as possible. And it was really, it was really important to me, but at the end of the day, it was, it was mostly knowing that boy. Thank you. 
I know the favorite lines from the book and want to make sure every single one of those is in the, the movie as well. So it's been it's been a great experience, um, and it's it's exciting because I think we're shooting in the fall. <laughs> so we should have finished by the end of the summer. The last time I was on a writing break, <laughs> but I I do write a lot and I work all, all the time. But it is important to have balance and it is important to have time for yourself. And I will um, play with friends, my family. I will dance. I love dancing and I'm taking dance classes place near my house and um, go hiking. I live in Los Angeles, so it's always nice weather and I love to be outside if I can um, travel. I love to read. So, and probably ultimately reading and watching, binge watching television. You know I love Supernatural. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, those, I love doing both of those things. So those are both great kind of escape and, and recharging for me. You know, I started wanting to tell it just because it's something that I went through and I've been carrying around for quite some time. But when I really, really look back on the process of writing it, I think the main reason I wrote it is because I felt when I lost my hunch in real life, I felt like I wasn't really allowed to talk about it because of how he died and that made people very uncomfortable. And as a result, I think I kept that in and carried that around for a long time. So in some ways, I think I wrote this book because I had to talk about it. And ultimately, I wrote it because we all need to talk about it. And when the book, the book first came out, I had some adults who took issue with it because they said, first of all, the adults are unrealistic because they don't pay attention. And second of all, we shouldn't be talking about this kind of thing to teens because it's too soon. They can learn about this later, but they don't need to know about this now. And my, my problem with that is that the teens I hear from, a lot of them, unfortunately, are not being listened to by the adults in their life. And they need to talk about this because they need to know that they're not alone. And they are going through stuff, like it or not. And we need to be there for them, for all of us. We need to be there for each other. So I think that's really why I wrote it. But I didn't really know that until I was well in the process. I've written now nine books, including Healthy of the Universe, and every book wants to be written differently. So it didn't surprise me that all the right places in Healthy of the Universe had to be written kind of differently, too. As I said, you know, it, it was really challenging at first for me because I'm so in the heads of Finch and Violet and really stayed in that world, you know, since well before, you know, when I wrote it, like since I wrote it, inventory, all of I mean, I've been living there. So breaking free of that to write Jack and Libby was a challenge. But one thing that I did to kind of um, help myself was I made playlists for not only the book, which I always do, but for both of the characters. So Jack has his own playlist, which is very distinctive, and, and Libby's is very different from his. And whenever I needed to write, I actually, I, I usually don't write to music if it has words, because it can be very distracting from the words I'm trying to write. But in this case, I did write to words. I just put on Jack's playlist, I put my headphones on, and I would just write. And then I would switch to Libby and switch into that playlist. And it's a really good way for me to just drop into the emotion and the voice of those characters. And so it was really, it was a fun kind of challenge too to write a book that way. And I would think, oh gosh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna write it. I'm not gonna think too much about it. I'm gonna listen to the music. And I'm just gonna go where it takes me. And 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 one of the really fun things about writing the universe was that I kept surprising myself, and that was really fun. I would try to do the unexpected, and the characters were doing the unexpected. And, so it, was, it ended up being a lot of fun to do. My message to you all is, I just, I can't thank you enough for all you mean to me. Um, I, some of you know my mom died a few months before All the Right Places came out. 
And so all of our business is the last book she'll ever read of mine. And that thought to me has been so devastating until recently when I wrote Building of the Universe and my first instinct was, oh my gosh, my mom's not here to read this. And I thought, you know who's here to read this? It's you. And I'm going to cry. You all just mean so much. And you can't know how much. So thank you. I love you. I truly do. And every time I say that or post that, I just meet up with all my heart. So no. I just got home from the Jennifer Neven in PH book signing. I had a ton of fun uh, meeting the author again. <laughs> was a blast and it was so nice to be able to talk to her and thank her for, you know, bringing mental health awareness to the forefront of YA. It was just so great to thank her and to be able to thank her in person um, for talking about mental health in YA and, you know, fighting the stigma and to tell her about my own experiences with, you know, anxiety and OCD and it was just great to be able to talk to her and also to see all my fellow book bloggers. It's always great. I think one of the best things about these events are that not only do we get to see the author, of course, best thing obviously but you can we can also catch up with fellow book fans and to just talk about them we rarely get to see each other you know we all lead different lives outside of book blogging um live quite far from each other so at these events it's always great to see each other and and just talk books and that about does it for my jennifer neven nph recap you can follow me on my other bookish adventures on twitter and instagram both at cuckoo for books Please subscribe. I will see you guys next Sunday or sooner for my next video. Bye, guys.